are we doing now, Barry? Onto the uh, air start unit. Yep. Onto the aircraft. So, this airplane needs compressed air uh, to wind it up in self sustaining mode. brakes on this because these things tend to take off with the thrust from them. <laughs> All this That's does is, is is helps it. Yep. Gives it a, a good power boost. Amperage of power boost, yeah. Mm How'd that run go? That's fine. That's all good? Yeah, absolutely fine. You can only check the oil uh, level. Yep. Once it's being run. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Well, the object, the exercise, make sure the engine is good. Yep. Um, it's been standing around for a while. I've done a lot of checks over it to make sure. So we've just installed it purely to do uh, a sort of medium power run because none of the controls are connected for the airplane or anything like that, but the hydraulics are, right? So the engine is installed purely to make sure the engine's gonna start properly, the temperatures are good, they've got no vibrations, uh, and, and then we know we can then proceed with uh, doing the complete overhaul of the airplane, knowing that we've got a good engine, you know? Excellent. That's all right. Perfect. Fire that up to idle. You're going to leave that down or up? Right? Oh, it's, it's supposed to be closed. Oh, yeah. Fire it up. Let's go. Fire up to idle. Okay. Use the ground power unit, Jim. You just need to switch it on first. Lovely. I could hear it over there. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Alright, we'll have a look. 
the RPM gauge is working right because that was uh, disconnected. The JPT is working in the right sense. All pressure light went out. Hard lights went out, so I was quite happy with it. Right. Just wondering if we give it a run and then look up and see where it's coming. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fire up one more time and just you have a look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it, it might be that the seals going to the burners are gone. Yeah. yeah. I found a couple of seals gone on the on the main fuel feed and I've I've replaced that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but obviously there's a, a lot more to it than I, I realised. We've got to do that because the contractor, the battery contractor. I thought I do that. I thought you'd be friendly or something. No, no, no. I'd always clamp the right hand side of the aeroplane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I might leak this time. They might have uh, sort of softened themselves up and molded themselves back into place. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> I sat with a blue. Uh, have they got carbon, any carbon seals in the fuel system? Or? Bonded seals. Okay. You alright? Fire it up. Look at idle first. <laughs> Jet pipe temperature is good on star idles at 34%, which is right. Yeah. No oil pressure lights out, yeah. fuel pressure lights out. Good. Got no hydraulics, but I don't know what's going on. Yeah. No, I didn't. A bit of hydraulics on the rear fuselage there. Yeah. Yeah. And, I'm with and it might well be that, that what we've got now is when I get in and change all the hoses and the bonded seals and everything else that's there, that we want to have a problem. 
more than likely. As in stopping with the leaky? Yeah, yeah. Stop with the no, that, that'll, that's fine. I'm, I'm happy with that. It rumbles very at low RPM when it's firing up. So I could, well, I did. I went up to 55, 60 percent. It's, it's fun, but I got, but I got no brake pressure, so I didn't want to take it any further. Chicken. <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. happy. I'm happy.